everybody, it's Danielle with Dr. Emmer's office. We're starting up the morning with one of my favorite treatments. It's Fractora. This is the radio frequency microneedling. So our patient just had a little bit of bellicle for acne scars. Um, her scars are atrophic, meaning they're lacking volume. So the uh, filler that we placed earlier is going to bring some collagen to the area and it's a longer term filler. We're now going in with the radio frequency microneedling. This is going to break down the thickened scar tissue in the area, um, kind of like tenderizing in the kitchen. You are softening that tissue so that it is um, sitting in the skin a little bit nicer, a little bit more even. So we're gonna complement this treatment with a clear and brilliant afterwards, which is going to focus more on pigment. So now we're gonna start on the forehead. Um, we're going to be doing double pulsed, which means, here's the first one. She's going to be getting two passes in one. It's a really quick treatment. She's doing great. The forehead tends to be the most uncomfortable. Is that okay or can I go up in energy? You can go up. Okay, so we're gonna get a little bit stronger. With radio frequency microneedling, in office you're really limited just by patient comfort. When a patient can tolerate the discomfort, because it is a little bit sensitive with the radio frequency. You can go up in energy to get even more tightening and even more smoothening out of the textural irregularities. How does this feel for you? Feels fine. Sometimes with radio frequency microneedling, since this is a treatment that I've had and I've loved, you feel like little twitches. It's just like microneedling the topical numbing does do a lot for the actual sensation of the pricks, but it's a different feeling when you have the energy underneath the skin. She's doing great. So when you read about Fractura for acne scars, I was just reading about this the other day, um, with any sort of treatment and absolutely with acne scars you need to do lifelong treatments and package treatments to really get the best benefit oftentimes with scars or just skin conditions of any form you've built up this problem and that imperfection over a number of years and it takes a long time to safely correct that it's definitely not um, something that you jump into and correct over the you know, the course of a week or a month, it does take time. So when you have a package of Fractor treatments, you can be expecting just from this treatment alone about 50% improvement in acne scars. So cystic acne scars. Um, this treatment is also really great for active acne. Because the radio frequency has heat, it kills the bacteria. So you're getting the benefit for active acne and acne that's leaving marks on the skin at the same time. So it's a good for everybody type of treatment. Are there any questions? Doing okay? Yeah. You are such a champ. <laughs> so she's doing really great. Our energy is nice and high. She's doing super well on the forehead, which means on the cheeks where her scars are um, more prominent, we can even go up a little bit. I always make sure to focus close around the eye here. Um, radio frequency is great for skin tightening, and so this is one that will really prevent the crepiness around the eyes. It's a great add-on for someone who's using Botox to treat this area, so I love to do that. I'll go around the eye at a little bit lower of a setting and then we'll bump up. You can also treat above the lid. When you pull up and you're on bone, you do a quick pulse there. Swap sides, quick pulse. Awesome. The recovery, of course, and I'll say this all the time, it's different per patient but it's anywhere from two or, so, two or so days of redness, just looking like a mild sunburn, which will then progress into a sandpaper type feeling on the skin, 
she will feel those little bumps on the skin when she washes, but other people really won't see them. So it's just a textural thing, um, and it can be gone in as little as four days, or it could last a little bit longer, um, redness and that sandpaper feel that lasts for up to 10 days. Typically, I would say three, four days of redness, and you're fine. Um, I wouldn't consider this major downtime by any means. You can definitely still be going out. You can be applying makeup. Um, you look, to me, it's a very manual weekend treatment and be good to go back to work on Monday. So head to the side, we're gonna do the cheek. Are there specific activities? How's that energy level? It's fine, I don't. If I, I, I don't honestly feel it. Okay, so great. <laughs> So after care is definitely important, you want to use things that soothe the skin um, and heal. I definitely like things that have growth factors or stem cells um, to continue that cellular turnover and heal all the micro injury that we've caused. Micro injury in the skin is really the magic behind microneedling. Just like when you fall and you scrape your knee, your body knows to go and heal that specific area. But the older that we get, or just, you know, when nothing is happening to our body, it goes into this stage where it's resting. And so it's not constantly refreshing cells um, when it's not hurt. So by causing micro injuries such as this, we know there's no trauma happening that we're not worried about. So she's not falling, she's not getting cut but the skin is registering that's being punctured. And so by default, the body's going to start healing itself in that area. So we're kind of tricking the body into thinking that it is being hurt so that it sends out all these fresh healing cells. Can this treatment be done if you have Botox or fillers? Absolutely. Botox and fillers are great. Um, they address volume changes and they, turn your head slightly to the side. They address volume changes and they will relax muscle movement, which causes wrinkles and lines in certain areas. But this is focusing on the surface. So it's textural changes on the skin, crepey changes in the skin, but then also the deep tightening. I kind of like to think of this treatment as the tablecloth. You're working on the surface. You're seeing that tablecloth, but you also want to have the sound structure underneath. So fillers are like having a really great dining room table and then making sure that you're using Fractura and all these resurfacing treatments is like having a beautiful tablecloth on top. So you want both, then one doesn't replace the other one. So they do work really well together. And you can have them done in the same treatment. You don't need to worry about having Fractura and melting away all of your filler. It, it doesn't work quite that way. Um, filler is very deep. It can be superficial, but it is so well protected under the skin. Our Fractura treatment is getting just deep enough to stimulate the, the collagen. So we're going to keep on going. She's doing amazing. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up here with the last little bit all the way throughout the nose and the top lip, and then we'll be moving on to Clear and Brilliant. So, we'll see you in a few. That was Fractura. Turn your lips in.